This courier has transformed our milling capabilities. It's the accuracy that goes on behind the scenes that we can't see, which helps us machine accurate parts. From the start, it's been an easy process with DTS's help. We spec the machine up with their help, and it's been really fluid all the way through. Here at Mollet Cox in Chesterfield, as you've said, the centre of the universe, and they have just invested in a Correa Norma machine. And wow, what an impressive machine! Chris, why did you go for such a huge machine like this? Well, firstly, we have the other Correa Axia, um, which is a large machine. This version's got a four and a half metre bed, so it's a smaller version of its sister next door, but it's got a lot quicker rapid, so we can do quicker machining on this part. Now you went to DTS UK to purchase this machine. You say it's got a sister machine, but the whole setup is very different. Yeah, so this is a traveling bed with a fixed column behind. Um, so we get quicker rapids. It's a smaller table. So on this machine, we're putting all kinds of different work, whether it's fabrications, uh, plate work, round work. So it's very versatile because it's got a full width bed as well. It's, 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 a, it's a large bed. And the UAD head, this is an impressive, part of this machine. We're talking about 364 million positions. So the positional accuracy is incredible. Are you using it to its full potential? And what's the sell here? Uh, we are, we will be doing more and more so um, because we're doing a lot of drilling applications and also milling applications, we need, which are actually tied up to each other. We need the accuracy on the head. And we talk about the lateral ram, the L-shaped ram and the correction on this head. What is this and how does it benefit you? It's a compensation, so when, as the ram comes out, the machine compensates and you can actually see it on the control to show you the compensation of what the machine's doing. So I guess that's kind of taking another job off you and you know the machine's absorbing another job for yourselves and your operators. Yeah, and peace of mind to know wherever the ram is, you've still got that high accuracy. Okay, tell me more about the machine. What impressed you then? The speed, the power? I think it's a good mixture of all of it. It's a very versatile machine. It's very powerful, it's quick, it's got a large envelope. We've got some great doors, so the visibility and the access to the machine's really good. And you said about accessibility, I know that you've got two doors here. Yeah. What does, how does that benefit you? So the second door means we can pull the control straight through from the front to the back. Right. Um, and we can work the machine from the back, similar to the Axia, but we're in a position where we can see work that may be on a different kind of fixture. Now I know you're quite confident in what parts you're putting on here and you went for 40 tools, is that right? Correct, yeah. And why did you go for 40? Because you can have 40, 60 and 80. We can. Um, the Axia next door's got 80 and we find that we don't use any way near the 80 tools. Right. Um, a lot of the operations are pre-planned pre on this machine so we know the tool and availability that we need to use. Are you using that 10 micron accuracy? We are and we will be doing more when we were in the factory, we saw it down to four microns, and then when they installed the machine, that repeated actually on site. Right, now let's talk about stabilization. Now, on every single axis, they work on growth compensation. Again, are you reaping the benefits of this? Probably unknowingly, yes. I mean, we open the factory doors, if you've been here today, to bring jobs in and out, so we do get temperature variations throughout the day, and we haven't seen any difference in the cutting, so it must be working in the background without us knowing about it. Definitely. And again, just one final option that you went for is the dual swarf convey. You didn't do this on your previous machine, did you? We didn't, and we've learned a lesson. So now we've put the second <laughs> conveyor in. It saves time. Um, it's much safer as an operator as well. So the swarf's evacuating out, and it's a cleaner machine. Installation. We well, haven't covered this. Was that easy? Because, I mean, it's a great big machine. You've got a big facility here. But again, you know, you, you had to build it into the ground. We did, we had a foundation put down, which DTS were involved from the start. Brilliant. We dealt with the factory. They gave us the foundation drawings. We had that done by another contractor. And the whole process all the way through has been you know, discussed and it's worked out really well. And finally, the Heidenhain control. How's that kind of merged into the company? It's a real benefit. It's very conversational. It's a, a better control than previous. Has all the benefits of the previous control, but just enhanced with now with the touchscreen as well. So would you recommend this machine to others and why? I'd recommend it, yeah, the versatility for us is a big plus. Um, we can put various different shapes, sizes, different types of parts on the machine and we get very high accuracy. And the service that you get from DTS, have they helped you along the way? They have, yeah, we've been really held our hand all the way through it because milling towards is quite a new 
scope of machining to us. Um, so from the start, it's been a really good process.